when you're looking at the the trends, especially in this hard market now, we've touched on Florida and some some shifts that are happening there. We've touched on California and some of the, the events that are that have happened there. What what do you think is driving it to be sort of collectively hard? It's not because before we've seen sort of increases in right. micro hardening or localized hardening, if you will. Um, just making up terms. It's a podcast. We can, <laughs> <laughs> but you have that sort of localized like this market is getting right. hard, but. You know, we may not have seen as much of as as bad of losses in Japan or as bad of losses in in Europe. Is it because we're seeing kind of losses hitting all the at all the various geographies kind of concurrently? Yeah, and I think that comes back to something else, which I would say, if you look at it again, if you think about those different buckets, right? Those different pieces of the risk. From the expected loss side, you've seen this inflation. Right. And it's not just the eggs of the supermarket. Over the last, you know, five years, we've seen those things cost more. Mm-hmm. Right. Whether it's wildfires in California or flood in Australia, all of these things have seemed to just the, the cost has gone up. And that can be due to a, a wide variety of factors. But the, the trend is pretty clear. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think you've seen those kind of coming up everywhere. Um, and then. Then other than that, it, it comes back to that kind of, um, as I described, you've seen enough losses in the last five years that investors are saying, hey, we are we need to make money here, something's got to change, or I'm pulling my capital. So you have that expected losses go up, right? Then you have that, again, the uh, it seems like the process risk is worse than the parameter risk. Do we even understand all of these events? Right, because it does seem like you had the flood in Germany, for example. You had all these things happening, so there seems to be a steady kind of loss stream coming in. Um, coming back to what from the actuarial side, right? What you tend to see is you tend to see step changes, right? So you'd say, well, even if I had one loss, I don't like to change. I don't want to move too fast. My underwriters are going to be mad, and their clients, why are you raising rates? Nobody's raising rates. So you kind of see actuaries, they'll stay at a certain level, and they say, ah, okay, well, that's going up. Okay, Matt, well, that's more than just bad luck, and then boom, right? And now you don't have the capital cushion. You don't have more capacity coming in. Yeah. So all those factors are building together. Yeah. 